Oh. They had just seen the film <laughs> War Horse. They'd seen the film War Horse. And then my children were asking me about war and what would happen if there was a war. And I said it'd be different this time because there'd be nuclear war. And, and I said, and that would be a very traumatizing, damaging experience. And I said, we have a choice. We try and survive or we take my tramadol in the, kit, in the bedroom and we have a nice cu cuddle and lie down. And but by the way, I wasn't being serious. Um, it was a, it was a, you know, metaphor for this situation. And the children were like, I'm not taking any fucking pill. We're going to fight the, we're going to try and survive. So that it came out of like this relationship of like, how do you survive? And at what cost do you survive? And sometimes we play stupid games when we're waiting in restaurants or we're in the car, we go, would you save yourself for 50 children? Or how many people would you save you? What would you sacrifice yourself for? And, and, and you know, we play this, what would you rather? Um, and we have uh, fake conversations about difficult situations because we're quite uh, challenging as a family. We like to have big conversations, you know? So that's really how, how, how the film came about. The actual idea was that I like to talk about things and people don't like to talk about things with me. So I thought, how can we make an entertaining film where we talk about important things? Here's to the lives that we've shared. <laughs> to our beautiful children. <laughs> Our beautiful friends. May we rest in peace. I mean, I, I live in a family where we have to sort of scream to get our opinion across. And um, I like, well, I think I have quite opposing opinions to my parents and to my brothers. So I, I, I often, I often try to get my opposing opinion across. And um, so I, I like to think I'm somewhat similar, sim, similar to the um, to art. But um, my mom had uh, my mom basically read out every scene she was writing at the time, uh, at dinner and at uh, yeah, lunch. And um, I guess eventually I just understood the character more and more. And because I was reading some of the old drafts, I understood why she changed the character so then I understood I, I eventually I understood the character. yeah I, I understood what she wanted the character to be like because I saw what it was like and what she changed it to be like I just think we should be honest with the kids we know the Russians want us all dead they're sending poisonous gas to kill us all in the morning it's not the Russians it's the planet it's very upset um, I want to um, just to be able to create a conversation that we have. And I also want to perhaps show that in our country, um, the government is, is, is fun primarily uh, run by the privileged classes. And I think our government is a mess. And I think the privileged classes don't always have all the answers, especially when they're sent to boarding school in our country. They're sent to they, the, the, they, they send the children out of the family, they educate them in a very extreme place and they bring them back as adults and they let them run the country. That's a very simple analogy of it. And um, I have an issue with that. So I, I'm not trying to create a distrust in science or medicine or uh, any vaccine related uh, comparison, but I am saying that as, 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 as people of privilege um, and also for the children that we need to question our value system and our relationship to fear and responsibility and, and trust. So I just want to have, the, I want people to be able to have the conversation.